Hi YouTube, this is Clive 1324 back today here with a top 15 video. Um, I said I was going to do some top videos. Um, I was originally going to do this just as a top greatest um, games on the system video, but then I realised I had 15 exact games here, so I might as well just do it as a uh, top 15. So today the top 15 um, greatest games on the Xbox 360. Um, these are all games that I own. Um, so if there's games that I don't mention, um, I'll do an honourable mention at the end of the video um, that, that would have been in this list if they weren't, if I did, if I um, owned them and probably where I would have put them as well. Um, so there's 15 different games here. Some games are part of a series so if I own all the, the games in the series I'll just throw them in as the series um, but I mean the Xbox 360 is probably my favourite my second favourite console of all time uh, the PS2 being the first the Xbox 360 is a, a close second um, there were a ton of great games on the Xbox 360 some great exclusives um, I'm the guy who collects mainly for the Xbox 360 but will only go for exclusives on the PS3 and a lot of people do that um, just because it's the Xbox 360 I think has a better, um, can run games a little bit better than the PS3 um, and of course the multiplayer is a little bit better on the uh, Xbox 360 if you're a multiplayer gamer. Um, like I mentioned some games in here um, some games that should have been in here aren't in here because I don't own them and I, I don't I think it's easier just for me to do it as an owning video so let's start off with number 15 Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter and Future Soldier um, I put this in here because it surprised me the Ghost Recon games haven't been my um, 4k I've never been into tactical shooters but um, this one includes Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 and Future Soldier. I highly recommend the uh, these games because um, Advanced Warfighter is a really good tactical based shooter but Future Soldier feels more like a stealth based game um, and it works really well. The I'm, I'm, I'm about just gone halfway through the campaign on Future Soldier I've completed advanced warfighter i highly recommend the ghost recon games they are they're fun but they have a lot of there's some strategy to it but not not so much strategy where it comes to the point where if you're not into tactical based shooters um then you won't like it but i enjoyed these ones i think uh, these are really good um xbox 360 games obviously i believe it's on the ps3 as well and future soldier has a really good campaign as well uh, so that's number 15. Number 14, the PGR games, number 3 and 4. Um, I was a big fan of racing games um, when I was younger. I, I sort of still am, but I sort of went off racing games. Um, so PGR was the go-to racing game on the Xbox 360 um, before Forza came in. Um, why I like PGR is because it's sort of like a mix between a simulator and an arcade racing game um yeah it's this one feels more fast paced um than forza or gran turismo and it has some the graphics are really good in these games you, you've got a ton of cars even bikes as well um they're really good racing games they're fast paced uh, there is some simulation to it of course number one and two were on the xbox classic uh, xbox but i personally think the pgr games are a really good racing game and i think you should give them a go if you're into racing games especially if you own an xbox 360 uh, i i would i personally prefer these over forza i played a little bit of forza um two and um, three I believe I haven't got the new ones so that was number 14 number 13 is the rock band series um I was into mind whether to put this one on here or guitar hero but I put rock band on here because I think rock band is a little bit better 
um, in terms of f having um, more fun. Because obviously Guitar Hero 1, 2 and 3 obviously were really, it was just only the guitar. Whereas Rock Band is more of a, a game that you can play um, with, you know, you can play with like four or five people. You've just got a ton of um, songs on here. You know, you can play, you know, well, you can pretty much play with a whole group of people, you know, a singer, two guitarists the drums and I believe Rock Band 3 had the keyboard as well. Uh, Rock Band obviously um, and Guitar Hero are sort of competitors but I prefer Guitar Hero to play solo but if you're looking for a really good, um, just a fun game to play, multiplayer, I recommend the Rock Band game. That was number 13. Um, yeah, number 13. Number 12 is kind of a hidden gem. But, um, still a fantastic game, uh, Stuntman Ignition, um, this game is fantastic, it is a game of its own, it's like if you took, if you played the original Stuntman and you enjoyed it, I recommend playing this one because it, it takes what's great about the original Stuntman and makes it better, it's, um, it's sort of like, I guess you could say a racing game with action elements to it. You sort of have to, well, you're basically a stuntman. You're, it's like you're in a movie set and you have to, it's a lot of trial and error. error. But this game is a lot of fun and um, it's one of those games that you'll be pulling your hair out. But at the same time, you're like, I'm going to keep going. And it's a really good game. So that is number 12. Oh yeah, I'm not very good at that. Uh, number 11, um, I only have the third one here, but the Dead Space series. Um, the Dead Space series, obviously the third one isn't considered to be, um, was some people consider it a disappointment. Um, I can see why, because it sort of wasn't as scary and it was, you know. But the Dead Space series are... A fantastic um, horror experience. They are considered some of the scariest um, games you'll ever play. Um, I personally don't get scared too much when I'm playing a game. Occasionally I might, but um, the Dead Space series is sort of like an over the shoulder. It's like if you took Resident Evil 5 or 4 and put it in space. Um, I know it's an EA made game, but it's this was uh, one of those games where you don't really need a lot of DLC to play the and enjoy the series. It's a really, it's a fun game. Uh, this one you can do co-op as well, so that's why I have this one. Um, it's it's dark, it's, you know, scary. You never know what's around the corner. You're just hoping that you're going to survive. And I personally think Dead Space um, should be on any top um list just because it's a really good um sort of horror game that you know sort of needs to be revived i guess i, I guess they should do a hd uh remake of all three of them for the xbox one and ps4 if that happened i think it would do pretty well so that's number 11 yeah and so number 10 we have the fear series um I was, again, I was in two minds putting these on here. Um, I I think the Fear games are very... They're unique to some extent. They are a first-person shooter. And while Fear 3 sort of took away a lot of the um, horror, it's one of those games that it's... It's a unique first-person shooter. It isn't just based going around killing monsters. You are sort of fighting, you know, soldiers and stuff, but you're also, you know, you have these special powers, you know, you can fight monsters, and I don't know how good the multiplayer was when it was first around, but um, obviously there's four fear games, there's also a, one extraction, uh, which comes with two DLCs for fear one. Um, the fear games 
I, I played Fear 1 and I may have played a bit of Fear 2, I need to finish it off, but I think they're really good, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a really good first person shooter and obviously horror games, you, you never really know what's around the corner, this game will sort of spook you a little bit, so it's not a game for the faint hearted, um, not as scary as Dead Space though I don't think. So, so number nine are the Saints Row games. I have the first two here. Be um, the Saints Row games, obviously, they were a competitor with GTA. At least these two, um, sort of like a open world game, but they're more over the top. Saints Row is a game that, in my opinion, is. Not as good as Grand Theft Auto, but in terms of how fun it is, it definitely stacks up on the list for being one of the fun, funnest games you'll ever play. Saints Row 1 and 2 are considered the better ones because it, that was when it didn't start getting weird and ridiculous. Saints Row 3 and 4, you sort of start getting superpowers and stuff. Um, but these games are really fun. If you're looking for a game that's just fun and you can just fucking do whatever you want, I highly recommend the Saints Row games. These are a lot of fun. And um, they may not be the best when it comes to, I guess, story or something. There is some story to it. But um, it is just a game where you can just do whatever the fuck you want. And um, that's why the Saints Row games are on this list. So uh, that was number nine, I think. What was it? <laughs> I, I, I lose track. Yeah, number nine. Number eight is the Fable series. Um, I have only the Game of the Year edition of Fable 2, but all the Fable games are on Xbox 360, um, and they're exclusives. Obviously, the PS3 has a lot of exclusive RPGs, um, just because, obviously, Sony, being a Japanese company, they, a lot of their exclusives are... Um, JRPGs. There are some that aren't, like the Uncharted and the Resistance and the Killzone, but I'm more of a guy who would rather collect the RPGs uh, and, of course, maybe the Resistance and the um, Killzone games. But I'm really not a big fan of those particular ones. Uncharted is um, is a good series, so I I do like Uncharted. But anyway, I'm going off track. So the Fable series, it is. Obviously, Microsoft being an American-based company, it's sort of like a westernised um, RPG. There are some JRPGs on the Xbox 360, but nowhere near as many on the PS3. Um, this game is fantastic. It is, you know, it's an open-world game. It's, it's, it's very charming. It's got this nice charm to it where you, you know, you really... What you do in this game does affect in the you in the long run so if you're good people will start to like you more you can do it sort of has like a sim feel to it as well where you can sort of um well you know you can marry people have a family you know get an, you get houses and you know you can buy like um like shops and things to get money and these games are just they're just really fun and the Fable one, obviously Fable 2 is considered the best one, but I recommend all the Fable games. Um, I actually played the third one first, um, just because I I think I got it, um, I can't remember if I had it for free or something. And then I got this one, and this one's the best one in my opinion. All of them are on the Xbox 360. The original one was remastered on the Xbox 360, that's why. Uh... So that was my what's next? number seven is the Crackdown series. Kind of a hidden gem, but these are like Saints Row. These are fun. They're they're not necessarily a game that's going to win you over necessarily with story. Well, maybe not so much um, Saints Row. Saints Row does have some story, to it, but these games are extremely fun. Um, and these are these are fantastic games. It's just open world chaos destroy everything you see you know it is it is really a game where it's quite 
it's not linear, but the story is pretty much you kill a gang member and then you have to go on to the next um, gang member, like, like a hierarchy. Um, Crackdown 1 is considered to be better than Crackdown 2, but I enjoyed the co-op on this one. It's really fun. These games are, I highly recommend them. These are probably some of the best um, um, open world games that you can play. And uh, they're exclusive. Well, this one is. I don't know so much about this one. Um, number six is Mass Effect. Now, why isn't this high on the list? Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you because I've only played a bit of this one. I haven't really played the other ones. I've got so many games to go through. And when it comes to RPGs, it's I'll play it for a little bit or put some a few hours or a couple of hours, you know, maybe five or six hours into it. And then I'll just go on to the next game. <coughs> but the Mass Effect games, obviously Bioware being one of the best, uh, the better RPG making companies. Obviously, they were, um, they made the, um, Knights of the Old Republic games, the Star Wars games, and they're fantastic. The Mass Effect series is a really, really good, um, you know, it's open world, it's, you know, you've got, you can go to all these different planets, like, it's kind of like Star Wars the Old Republic a little bit, but the combat is not, like, I guess sort of like real time turn based it's more um just third person shooter I highly recommend the Mass Effect games I'm going to have to put more time into them so yeah um next we have I'm going to move that one there um number five so we're in the top five now we have the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series um, why is this in the top five? Um, because believe it or not, I enjoy the Modern Warfare Call of Duties. I think um, Modern Warfare Call of Duty is the best out of the uh, series. My favourite is World at War, but in terms of series, uh, Modern Warfare is considered, in my opinion, the best one. I did put a lot of time into the multiplayer on Modern Warfare 2 um, years ago, but... So, Call of Duty being this World War Two making games, they made games on the Xbox Classic and the, you know, the 360, and then Call of Duty 4 comes along and it, it changes the game. This game, you know, the campaigns on these games I think are really good, and the campaign on this game was what really, um, really won me over, and I know Call of Duty has gone off on this horrible horrible direction um and i probably won't ever buy the call of duty game again um other than the older ones for my collection but these ones are in my opinion probably the um the best in terms of story the multiplayer is great as well the multiplayer is um you know it's more i guess people say hardcore because there's no running up walls and jetpacks and shit which is i think it's stupid um but yeah the, this one has a great campaign but my favorite campaign was on this one um it's fantastic uh, i remember the chernobyl mission on this one uh number four the bioshock um series i'm missing the first one i may have it as a digital cop i think i have it as a digital download on either my Xbox 360, it might have been on my Xbox One, but when I, it's still on my profile, so I'll get it back. Um, the Bioshock series is, again, like Mass Effect, I haven't really put much time into the these particular ones. I have played um, Bioshock 1. These are fantastic games. They are... I know Bioshock Infinite is its own sort of game, but the first two Bioshock games were... It's first person shooter, it mixes horror with, I guess you could say, you know, it, the world is, is unique, it, you know, it's this underground, underwater world, and you get these magic powers and upgrades and stuff. The, obviously, Bioshock 1 was the game of the year when it came out, and these games are, are probably some of the best um, 
first person shooters you'll ever play. Bioshock 1 and 2 are more horror based, whereas this one's more of an open world game. Um, but I recommend the Bioshock series. Now we're into the top three. So we have here Grand Theft Auto. Um, this is four. Um, I would have five on here, but I don't have five. So let's just say five is in here. But Grand Theft Auto, when the Grand Theft Auto 4 came out, it really up the ante with open world games because I know a lot of people look at Grand Theft Auto for 4 now and say it's not that good but there is this game, these games are fantastic because they compare it to Grand Theft Auto 5 and if you do that um, if you compare Grand Theft Auto 5 to Grand Theft Auto 4 it's, it's like comparing you know a PS1 to a PS4 in terms of hardware Obviously, the PS4 has got better hardware, but these games are fantastic. Open world. I really like these ones because it's got... It's, Grand Theft Auto 5 was sort of more lively. This game sort of got more of a, a dark feel to it, I guess you could say. And, um, you know, open world. Beautiful, beautiful games. Obviously, graphics on this aren't as good as the newer one, but... Again, you can't really compare them. I highly recommend these. I haven't played the Liberty City stories yet, um, or Liberty City episodes, or whatever you want to call it. So um, I'll be playing these after I've finished um, Future Soldier. Now, obviously, top two, obviously, usual suspects. Number two, Gears of War. I have here the limited edition Gears of War 2. But um, I have all of them as digital downloads. Um, the Gears of War series, in my opinion, is probably one of the reasons to own an Xbox 360. When the Xbox 360 first came out, there was only, you know, Cameo and Perfect Dark Zero, games like that. That really didn't pull you in. It didn't make you want to buy an Xbox 360. Gears of War, on the other hand, that made you want to buy an Xbox 360. It was... Gears of War, I guess you could say it's a a genre of its own. It, I know in term in terms of not in terms of what genre the game is. I mean the type of world it's in. It's sort of I guess sci-fi with fantasy and um, steampunk sort of. It's these games have fantastic story mode, co-op, the multiplayer is sort of. You know it's fair. You don't you don't feel like you're being cheated on the multiplayer. Obviously, you know it. It's really a game that will pull you in, and it's one it's one of the first games that I ever played that really pulled me into a game. And you know I know my my favourite one is Gears of War three, but. The campaigns on these games are amazing. Um, you do sort of feel there are some sad moments from these games. There are some, you know, it's not a game that has a ton and tons of weapons and things like that. But it's it's what you get with these games that makes it so special. It's it perfected the cover based shooter basically um cover based shooters have been around for a while but this game the gears of war really made the cover based shooter sort of work really well and the cover based system in this game is uh, fantastic um obviously gears of war 3 each game got better other than judgment was sort of a disappointment um weren't a bad game it just didn't have enough for you to make you know it it didn't have enough um multiplayer things it was more based as a multiplayer game and the campaign just wasn't as good um gears of war 3 had an amazing campaign and obviously the most notable thing about this game is um it's gory as hell especially this one um i highly recommend the gears of war series if you've never played gears of war or you, you don't have an Xbox 360, but you might be thinking about getting one. 
this is one of the reasons to get one and number one obviously <laughs> it's kind of obvious halo i'm missing halo 4 but um the halo series obviously being one of the most um it's a triple a game now obviously master chief being one of the um um mascots video game mascots now he's well known when you when you think of a video game mascot he, you know mario was a well-known one and sonic and now master chief sort of up there with the uh players i guess you could say um the halo series why why was the halo such a good game because it's one of those games like Gears of war it it was sort of perfected what it was it was it's not a realistic shooter it's an arcade shooter you know it's not a game that's gonna you know be super realistic and stuff like that it's it's just a game that's extremely fun um a game that like like i said with modern warfare had people brought it not just for the multiplayer but for the um the single player and obviously co-op the the campaigns in this game are really fun obviously there's some spin-off halo games like spartan assault and halo wars which uh they're good games but i'm i don't consider them part as the main halo series they're their own game um halo reach was my favorite because it had the um the, well, at least for the multiplayer and the forge world halo 3 obviously um, probably has the best campaign of them all um, Obviously Halo 1 and 2 on the original Xbox are great games and if you're a big fan of Halo You should probably get the Master Chief Collection, but that sort of had a lot of backlash because the multiplayer was a uh, Excuse me broken, but the Halo series um, It's just one of the best uh, first person shooters and a reason to own an xbox 360 um just just fun amazing co-op games you know just you know get a couple of friends around let's play halo and we'll play halo i know people sort of take um sort of joke around about halo and stuff like that but there's a reason why halo is up there with the best of the best because it is the best of the best and uh, in my opinion the best um, series on the Xbox 360 because of its you know it what it is it's Halo it is the go-to game on the Xbox obviously Halo 5 um, really um, screwed up Halo in my opinion so yeah, um, some honourable mention that obviously would be in this list if I owned them. The Elder Scrolls games, uh, Oblivion and Skyrim, obviously really good RPGs. Um, we've also got the Batman Arkham games. They are probably the best um, superhero game you'll ever play. Fantastic games. Um, we have, um, what else do we have? The Fallout 3 in New Vegas, again, fantastic um forza obviously uh xbox go to um racing games you know really uh sort of more of a simulator not my my type of racing game i prefer gran turismo over forza um any others that i thought i should mention oh dead rising dead rising's a an exclusive and um i believe it's an exclusive the at least the xbox 360 ones I know that game isn't without its flaws, but just the fun factor to that game. Um, so, yeah, but if, if there's any games that you think I missed, um, just let me know. Let me know what your top 50 in Xbox 360 games are. Um, just because this isn't necessarily my favourite games. These are what I consider the best um, or the greatest xbox 360 game so there'll be a ps2 um greatest games on the ps2 but 
that probably won't be top 15 that'll just be me talking about them because i've got so many to go through so um yeah so uh that'll probably come sometime this week but uh this has been the my top 15 greatest xbox 360 games of all time um oh and another honorable mention sorry i just remembered assassin's creed um but yeah please like subscribe and see you next time